It's been such a long time since I've recorded a video, so here I am. I'm back at it. This look is going to be a nude glossy lid plus lips, so if you like it, keep watching. Ha. We're going to start out with some primer. This is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Nourishing Base Primer, and this is pretty much for people with dry skin like myself. It's almost like a second lotion, to be honest with you. I can admit I likes the party. Next, we're gonna move on to foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations of all time, just because it works amazingly for me, and the price point is nice, and it's easily accessible. So, this is definitely one of my favorite foundations. The Maybelline Fit Me. I'm number 30 Cafe. And I'm just going to apply this all over evenly using a thicker, dense type of brush. As I'm done applying, I like to do a once over with my brush just to make sure that everything is smooth and even. Moving on to concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer number 030 Cafe. And I'm just going to apply this basically on my T-zone area to highlight. Of course, we're going to blend that out. I'm using a small stippling brush to lightly buff and blend out all of the markings from the concealer. Although this is sped up, I did take my time to blend out everything so that it comes out really smooth looking and flawless. So take your time when blending. To set my highlight in place, I'm going to be using the Ben Eye Olive and luxury powder and this is just going to set my uh, highlight in place and make sure that it doesn't move or budge or crease throughout the day. Next I'm going to be moving on to contouring and this is the Black Radiance Press Powder. The shade is Ebony and I'm going to use that basically wherever I need to contour which is you know the cheekbones, the sides of the forehead, the chin, Anywhere where I want to contour, that's what I'm going to be using. Taking this really dark brown from my Smashbox eyeshadow palette, I'm going to further cut my cheekbones to add real trauma. Using that same Black Radiance pressed powder, I'm going to take that down the sides of my nose and give myself a slight contour. Moving on to either your favorite or your most disliked thing about me, <laughs> because I get a lot of comments on my brows, um, love or indifferent, it's all good. But um, moving on to eyebrows, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Ebony, and I'm going to shape and fill out my eyebrows in kind of a straight eyebrow shape because that's just kind of what I prefer and I prefer them to be thicker as well too so yes I know my brows are thick I understand that but that's just my preference guys they fuck a lot fuck a lot they ain't where you want to go go now stand by so so stand by so so what the what the what the what the man fuck I told you stand by so so stand by so so what the what the what the fuck the man fuck I told you To define my brows, I'm going to be using this Ruby Kisses Pure Mineral HD Concealer and I'm just going to shape my brows with this. This is one of my favorite concealers for shaping my brows because it dries to a matte finish and it stays all day long. see me blending out my concealer with a stiff kind of pony hair brush and this really does blend out that concealer because like I said it dries to a matte finish you kind of have to work with this concealer a little bit quicker than you would use you know any other concealer I'm 
I'm done baking, so I'm going to take off the excess olive sand powder with a fluffy brush. Using one of my most favorite, most coveted highlighters, I'm going to highlight the tops of my cheekbone and my nose. Kind of overline my lips a bit um, and fade in that brown just a bit so that way it can create an ombre look when I put the lip gloss on top. This is the Makeup Forever Plexiglass Lip Gloss number 100P. I'm going to take that and apply it on my lips and start to blend out that liner so that it can create an ombre look.
After that, you're pretty much done. Um, you can choose to do any other necessary things that you like to do with your own makeup, but this is pretty much the end result here. I hope you really like it. Simple, easy, fun, cute kind of look. You can wear this to work if you want to, at least I do. <laughs> but hopefully I will see you in my next video, and thank you for watching. Comment, share, like, and subscribe. Bye-bye! Oh, my. Oh, my.